The interesting thing about this film is that it spans multiple time periods. This idea of Calder, who's an immortal, who li has lived about 700, 800 years, I love the concept of being able to track him across time. So we created a movie that both that blends time periods, that starts in the past of the Mid Middle Ages, brings us to present day, and then bridges the two time periods through this character of Calder. But it's really about a movie about a guy who has immortality, who the immortality is a curse. You, you live, your family, the one, loved ones die. It's how he has to get past the death of his family in order to save the world. It's a film that, in essence, is about immortality, but not in a goofy way where it's just written off as a superpower. It's actually at the core um, what my character is dealing with. And in some ways, what the mentorship of um, Michael Caine's character is kind of assisting me with. He's buried his sorrow um, and the loss that he's had to deal with for so long. And now he needs to confront it in this story. And he does that by, by way of magic and seeking out Chloe, Rose Leslie's character, to revisit his past. I was absolutely pulled in by the fact that it was an original and that this screenplay certainly wasn't kind of backed by video games or toys or even any preconceived incept with kind of, uh, uh, like with films before it or even after it. What am I thinking of? Sequel. That's what I'm thinking of. And, and, and once having had the interview with Breck on Skype, that kind of sealed the deal. In this one, you've got all the witchcraft and, the, you know, the devils and everything. And I sat there amazed because I, I, I saw it just with my wife and I in a cinema the other day in, in, a, in a private showing. And it was extraordinary. And of course, with, with, with the modern day movies, you've got all the, the computers and everything. You can do wonders with it. When you play characters that an audience adopts and studios embrace, you've got to find your moments to do original stuff or t departures. Um, and this was that opportunity. Uh, this was something based in the fantasy world, uh, spoke to my D&D &D roots. So uh, it was a compelling story and I was lucky to do it. When I went to movies as a kid, I, it was that wide-eyed wonder of being introduced to a brand new world, a world you didn't know, a world you had no concept of, and like you're introduced to this world in a whole new way. I want them to like really be taken by this world. I want them to have fun, I want them to laugh. I want them to be excited and I want them to be emotionally moved by the character. It's a very good script. It's an adventure. I don't have to do any of this sort of stuff. I got home early, so it was great.